Hey guys, Hulk Games back here for the video, guys. Welcome back to an episode of the Jacksonville Jaguars franchise series. Guys, today we are taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Of course, Pittsburgh Steelers are notable players to look out for in this contest. Starts off with their brand new running back, Najee Harris, out of Alabama. Should be an interesting contest to see how good he does against the Jacksonville Jaguars defense, who is, of course, ranked number one. So, very interesting to see how. How good that he can actually do second out of four here though is going to pass down the across the middle for another first down and definitely something as we always see you know jacksonville jaguars their offense is so high powered as of late as they throw a touchdown right here to marvin jones their offense is so high powered compared to like the start of the season and i know starting off the season i saw a lot of comments saying like oh my god bro like this offense isn't high powered this offense isn't doing much and it's just so funny how much has changed since that time because now this offense is moving the ball with ease trevor lawrence is having no issue at all playing and he's just absolutely being a monster every single play right here though a good run ends up being a holding call as Najee harris does pick up a first down but it's gonna be a holding call will bring back the play so first down 15 here another run play here and like we said every single week pretty much this you know jacksonville jaguars defense definitely give up, gives up a lot of yards but they lock down teams when they need to and that's the biggest thing about this team is they can lock you down when they need to lock you down in the red zone they might give up a thousand yards but they're not going to give up a thousand points and that is definitely very important in this contest and so far third down 10 now at the 18 yard line Jacksonville trying to get a stop on the play all day to throw it and Ben almost takes the sack almost knocked out of field goal range but they do get a field goal off right there next drive later just like that Jacksonville moving down the field again like I said Trevor Lawrence absolutely amazing how much he has done in such a short amount of time you know really progressing into the quarterback that we all kind of all knew he was going to be as James Robinson right there gets a first down uh picking up some more yardage nice play later here another run play by Travis Etienne goes absolutely nowhere second down and nine here a pass play down the field completed to of course uh chuck down for a touchdown and i don't know why i called him chuck i can't think of his name for a second uh anyway the pass right here to the left hand side completed obviously ben's not going out without a um He's not going out here. He's going to go ahead and keep trying to get down the field as Chase Claypool caught that ball right there. DJ Chark is who I was thinking about. I don't know why I caught him Chuck. Um, nonetheless, though, uh, run play right there. Second down and four here. Pass the left-hand side. Completed down to the 22-yard line. Already only down by 11 points. And Ben is trying to make this a one-score ball game. As right here to me, a pass across the middle completed down to the 13 yard line. Next play later, a pass to the left hand side incompleted, bringing up third down and one. Most likely going to be a run play. Ends up being a pass play, surprisingly enough, and ends up being a touchdown on the play to Mr. Deontay Johnson. And just like that, it's going to be a 10 to 14. Uh, ball game but travis Etienne is trying to change that again this offense is absolutely insane first down 10 here pass to marvin jones down the field and he's going to go ahead and get to the 26 yard line next play later another pass play here at the empty base set formation it's going to be a sack on the play had a guy open across the middle there but simply was not able to get the ball off in time so nice play later pass down the field again to marvin jones and again a another first down picked up no timeouts left here they have to play smart and they will as the tight end catches the ball here and it looks like will they be able to actually get a um field goal or touchdown let's see it's a pass to the left hand side completed they have to go fast here have to go quick and they will spike it which will go ahead and give them a field goal for halftime 17 to 10 at halftime and now big ben and the Steelers are in a perfect spot coming out of halftime to be able to actually score a touchdown go ahead and tie this ball game up and play smart this they are in a great situation to go ahead and win this game as they throw a dot down the field completed to the 23 yard line next play later run up the middle goes absolutely for one yard pretty much nowhere uh second down nine now the 22 yard line is gonna be a pass play this one across the middle is incomplete almost intercepted on the play 
third down and nine now at the 22 yard line some motion in the ocean going on and it's going to go ahead and be a pass play here a fake deep pass but ends up being a check down to the left hand side goes nowhere so now 17 to 13 Steelers honestly other than that one touchdown drive really moving the ball down the field in the Jacksonville Jaguars defense but the Jaguars is really uh you know keeping charge when it comes to not allowing them to score when they're in the red zone third down and four here after a run by Travis Etienne it's gonna go and be a screen pass good call by the screen pass here as Etienne does get down to the 41 yard line first down and 10 now at the 41 yard line it's gonna go ahead and be another run play and and good to see this, the um, Jags actually running the ball more definitely something again like I said I feel like we've got a broken record at this point saying every single week that they do not simply run the ball and that is definitely something that is going to hurt them in the long run especially because again you don't want to you know get your quarterback hurt in any kind of way right here though Marvin Jones putting the spin move on this Steelers defense and he's going to go ahead and score a tutty just like that going ahead and taking an even bigger lead on the play on the in this game as the third quarter is coming to an end and the Steelers are down by 11 now but again like I always say Ben is not phased by this at all as he is simply just moving the ball down the field with ease fourth quarter now and Jags defense needs a stop they need some kind of answer against the Steelers offense so far I have not been able to do anything against the Steelers offense and another pass to Claypool right there down to the 17 yard line second and four now at the 17 yard line it's going to be some motion in the ocean right there and another pass play across the middle completed down to the nine yard line first and go at the nine here another pass play right hand side completed almost broken tackle almost got in the end zone there second and goal now at the four it's going to go ahead and be let's see it's going to be a touchdown and it will be a touchdown and just like that is a 24 to 21 game ben is not quitting this contest i gotta say one thing man ben is resilient it is impossible to count out big ben just like aaron Rodgers, it's really hard to count him out right here though it's gonna be a pass travis etn gets down the third and in inches big play right there by trevor lawrence to almost get the first down and next play later getting the first down by travis etn now it looks like the jags are kind of in a weird situation this jags defense is not locking down the steelers like they have been locking down opponents every single week so this is situation where they're gonna have to rely on just running the football getting down the field and chewing this clock out something they have not really had to deal with too too much so far as to not get that uh, catch right there it's too much throughout the season is having to rely on you know actually running the clock out a lot of these games they have been up or at a point where they feel confident in their defense so far right now this game is, does not look like that's the case and it looks like they will oh will they punt it here they will be punting the ball against the Steelers here the Steelers will get the ball back down by three with around a minute to go in the contest this will be an interesting finish in jacksonville right now will jags lose this game will they win it ben has been destroying this jags defense all game long and right here oh you hate to see it he's crapping the bed as they call it in this situation right here all right, so those two check down passes, absolutely stupid. Not helping him out at all. And he's going to do it again right here. And that's going to pretty much all but do it as the clock will run out. And Jacksonville Jaguars will get another win on their schedule. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.